auction, all things considered. But uh, you think investors should be selling Italian bonds, not buying them? I think so. I mean, yeah, as you were saying, they got the maximum amount away today, so they'll be pleased about that. The bid to covers uh, looks fairly reasonable as well. But I think the problem for uh, BTPs going forward is there's an element of uh, political risk uh, beginning to uh, creep in. Uh, re Berlusconi's seat in the Senate and the vote on that, which is coming up uh, in the next few weeks. I think that's going to put some upward pressure on yields and widen the spreads, because despite the fact that we've seen some spread widening versus Germany in both the five and ten year area, in the order of about 20 basis points or so in the last, uh, in the last few weeks, which probably helped the auction today, it's still very narrow uh, historically, and I think we could see some more, um, some more upward pressure there. Okay, that's, that's, uh, that may be the case, but from the Italian Treasury point of view, they're about 80% funded for the year. They should have no problem in uh, shifting the remaining 20%. Absolutely. They're well ahead of schedule of taking full advantage um, of the current let-up intentions in uh, peripheral bonds. And, and they funded, and they might start well looking at next year's funding and, and pre-funding for that. But the problem for peripheral yields in, in general is, as I say, spreads are still relatively uh, tight and they've got one eye on what, what, what the Fed's going to be doing and the sort of domestic, different, differing domestic political environments. But the improving back, macro backdrop is certainly helping them. OK, you mentioned the spread versus Germany. It's currently trading around like 235, 240 basis points. You think that's going to widen? Uh, what numbers should we be looking at? I think so. I mean, I think we could see um, going forward over the next few months that spread pushing out uh, towards the sort of 275, 300 area, which was the top of the uh, recent trading range. We may even go a little bit further, but certainly the sort of 300 level is my target uh, in the next uh, few months. Okay, and interestingly, um, Italian yields look like going through Spain for the first time in what would be 18 months. Yes, I mean, we've seen some narrowing of the spread there. I think at the moment, Spain still trades about 15 basis points or so above Italy in the 10-year uh, area. But certainly we could see um, Italian yields pushing higher above Spain. But I don't think the differential is going to move too much because obviously Spain have their own domestic issues that uh, the bond market has to deal with. But certainly that is a distinct possibility going forward.